It's one of the last Sears locations in the country, but the Stockton store is set to close next month after decades at the Weberstown Mall. Now, the retailer actually shaped a lot of the city's history. Your reporter covering San Joaquin County, Esteban Reynoso, is live with more on this. Esteban? Well, yeah, hey there, guys. I met with a historian today who told me that if Sears didn't decide to build their store right here at the Weberstown Mall Plaza, right behind me, that Stockton could have looked a whole lot different and expanded in a completely different way. But now the question is, who's going to take the store over? Uh, it's a sad sight, really, because my family used to go there all the time. Jonathan Espinoza remembers trips inside the Stockton Sears with family, like many of us do, to find almost anything you needed. Oh, we just came here one final time to check out if there's any like freezers or anything on sale. But come August, the store where almost everything was sold must have everything gone. It, it was the place to go. Like if you needed to get, if you needed to get anything, yeah. you, went, you went to Sears, <laughs> so, right? Yeah. Philip Merlot is the executive director of the San Joaquin County Historical Museum. Growing up in Stockton, he remembers those same trips, but now he sees the major role Sears played in growing Stockton over the last 60 years. The 50s, there was a really significant movement in Stockton and in San Joaquin County to consider developing north of the Calaveras River. 1964, Sears opens and Sears decides to move from its downtown facility to the Weberstown district. Merlot says the retail giants' decision to move north opened the floodgates for expansion. You see um, kind of the, the cementation of this northern northern push in Stockton's urban development as a long-term trend. We need to look at the economy of Stockton as being something that is evolving, um, expanding, retracting at the same time. What's next? Carrie Wright is the director of economic development for Stockton. She says she's hopeful something will replace the one-time staple. We do like to see those big tenants and bringing in resources for our community and sales tax generation. Sure, it's a loss, but it's also an opportunity. The Weberstown Mall is owned by the Washington Prime Group. They did not say what was going to happen with the store skeleton once it's cleaned out, but Wright has some ideas. We're not in charge specifically in what goes into that space, but we can make it attractive for someone to invest into that area. But whatever does go in there is something that we want it to serve the residents. Now we did reach out to Sears Corporation today to get their side of things. They did not get back to us in time for their story today. However, something that Merlot did share with me is that underneath this store is a bomb shelter. It was built in the 1960s, so that was during the Cold War, and there's just a lot of history that's involved in this building. Guys.